Hello, we are back again to playing the Doomcore trilogy, and currently we are on map 7 of Reverie, which is called Lazarus. So of course being a map 7, it's bound to use the map 7 tags. And I do usually try to use them in a way that isn't so typical, but here of course it is a little bit more typical. Because, well, this is still one of the earlier map sets I released, so hadn't really gotten the mileage out of it yet that most other people might have. So I do like this early setup though where it's just kind of different with the little open areas here and then just that little blue key tucked away in a corner. Although this is not totally feasible for multiplayer. It's not great anyway. So obviously it's got all these tight hallways and could have multiple players running around getting stuck together, so. Hmm. I thought I saw somebody else. <laughs> okay, so this area opened up. The basic idea, well actually I should say the earliest idea I remember having for this map. This was actually one of the early maps I'm guessing. I'm thinking it was. I know I had this idea for a, a map 7 where it had this outer ring area with the arachnotron enemies and I'm just kind of imagine running back and forth shooting them to open the exit just with the raised step texture. So just kind of started actually with the last area. Obviously there's this huge combat zone with the long hallways and lots of shotgunners and of course the mancubus enemy is already kind of trashing me a little bit. <laughs> I think I'll need a little bit of health shortly. Thankfully there is a megasphere not too far from here. Actually I could even grab probably, where is it? Berserk pack, I think, should be down here somewhere. I think there is. Or maybe I don't remember correctly. Hmm. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> oh wait, duh, it's right there. I don't know how I missed that. I think I was just kind of focused on the outside where the weapons were. I guess I just kind of assumed it might be there. See so yeah, how we got the long process of shooting each of these Mancubus enemies in the corner. Actually, there is one little thing I just remembered. <laughs> oh, I just noticed that. Um, I think there's a wall you can walk through here. This is only in the trilogy version. I just threw this in in case somebody was playing the map monsterless. So you can just walk through here and flip that switch. Well, actually, I'd, maybe I'll leave it for now play this more traditionally. Because yeah, that would use the map 7 tag. It was just kind of thrown in, I guess, as a bonus. Wow. <laughs> it's good that it's easy for these guys to end fight with each other, at least. Oh shoot, that was bad. I think that's the end of all these guys, though. Which probably means the wall has lowered. Yeah. So let's grab that Megasphere. It sh should be right here, of course. And, oh yeah, there's two secrets. Actually, I know where the other one is. So here's the area I always kind of envisioned. I think I should break this one out. Of course, it's a little bit crowded in this hall, so once again, maybe not the most feasible setup. At least starting out here. Don't think there's anybody else there. It's just those two, and finally going over here. We're out, back out in the open. Nice view of the skybox, too. 
feel like that's part of the motivation for setting it up this way. So I always like to create opportunities to go outside and just look at the skybox. I think I'll switch to a couple of these. Oh, or not. That should do it though. I think there's one more monster. And our last secret. Which we don't need, but that's pretty much it for that map. And we transition to a very large map coming up next. But yeah, that's Lazarus, which is map 7. And yeah, I just remember seeing that outer ring in my mind of the Arachnotron area and having that step raised to the exit. And then I think it just kind of worked its way from there. Maybe I switched from that little idea to just creating the start area and then slowly branching that into that big arena with the circular hall and the central area with the weapons. But that's pretty much how the map unraveled itself. So anyway, that's it for that one, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Take care.